sitting in the secret square. The contestant who picks it first could win a prize package worth over $3,300. Which star is it? Harvey Corman. David Grove. Ed McMahon. Lawrence Henderson. Jonathan Winters. David McCallum. Glenn Campbell. Karen Valentine. Or Paul Lynn. All in the Hollywood Squares. And here's the master of the Hollywood Squares, Peter Marshall. Thank you and a good evening. Thank you, audience. Welcome to the Hollywood Squares. Hello, stars. Hi, Hello, Peter. Oh, no, I don't believe we've ever had a Navy captain on our show, but I want you to say hello to Norma Batch Elder, retired Navy captain. Hi, Norma. How are you? I'm f fantastic, actually. You spent 31 <laughs> years in the Navy? Yes. You're now retired? I certainly have. And now you're uh, very active with Navy League. What is Navy League? Navy League is the civilian arm of the Navy, and we're interested in a strong defense to defend our country. Well, good for you, and good luck this evening. We have a visitor for all the way from Canada. Do you watch the Hollywood Squares up there in uh, Canada? Oh, certainly do. Yeah. All right, this is Randy Olson, ladies and gentlemen. Nice to see you. Randy? Uh, you're vacationing in Southern California? That's correct. A contractor plans to marry a teacher this winter. Good for you. We have a commercial here, and we'll continue with the Hollywood Squares after a brief message or two. Here's it to get three stars in a row, either a cross up and not a diagonally. It is up to them to figure out if the stars give you a correct answer, making one up. That's how they get the squares. Each completed game is worth $250, and we play three secret square games. Uh, Kenny. And X starts this secret square. We'll jet you from Los Angeles to Las Vegas to the Stardust Hotel on the Strip, home of the Lido de Paris. Relax by one of two pools, play tennis, dine in elegance, and much more, all furnished by the Stardust Hotel. Plus, Blistic medicated lip balm, a soft stick like an ointment. Use Blistic daily. You may never get dry chap lips by Blistic Incorporated. Also, a beautiful cosmic dinner ring. The traditional 14-carat gold setting features two diamonds surrounded by 12 rubies, designed and furnished by the House of Commons. And one million S and H green stamps. Select your prize for more than fifteen hundred brand name gifts furnished by S and H green stamps, valued at twenty five hundred dollars. Thank you, Kenny. Let's show the home audience the secret square. You know the stars are brief before the show to help me with the bluffs. But as always, they are hearing the actual questions for the first time as they are asked. You want to toss, Randy? Good luck, my friend. Pick a star. Uh, Glenn Campbell. All right, Glenn. Yes. Harold Vanderbilt. Of the Vanderbilt invented a game which is very popular all over the world today, a card game. What is it? Harry Vanderbilt. Mm -hmm. uh, Monopoly. Monopoly. I disagree. No, that's a board game. We're talking about a card game and oh. it's bridge. Harold Vanderbilt of the Vanderbilt. Good start with the next. All right, Norma, your turn. David Grove. David, that is the secret square. <laughs> Hey, David. Nice to see you, my friend. It's worth this question, $3,300 and change. In what show does the orchestra play the Star Spangled Banner musical? Is it in 1776, The Flying Dutchman, or Madame Butterfly? I've heard... I believe Madame Butterfly has Madame Butterfly. Norma? I disagree. Oh, and it's a Navy oh. story, too. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Yes, Madame Butterfly, when the uh, lieutenant... Is it... Uh, Pink up. Yes. Isn't that funny? My instinct was Your instinct? Go. Well, you yeah, see, that's what uh, Ida Mesa's first yeah. instinct. Put an X there. Randy, we have two more secret squares, though. Uh, Ed McMahon. All right, Ed. In the Kane Mutiny, what did Captain Quig do when he was nervous? He rolled uh, two small metal balls in his hand. I'll agree with that. That's right. Ah, I know that. Well done. You knew that one? All right, Norma, you can. Paul Lynn. Hi, Paul. Everything okay? Uh-huh. All righty. <laughs> According to Coronet, Coronet, do most men feel uneasy when with a woman who has an extremely large bust? In other words, do most men feel uneasy when they're around women with extremely large busts? <laughs> Guess they run for cover. <laughs> <laughs> I I think it's hard to talk. It's hard to look at their eyes. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> it's hard to do anything. Yes, I think they are. He said yes. 
They're uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Most men with women. I disagree. Yeah, they are. Most men become upset and scared. Uh, I don't know why. We can't uh, put an X there, Randy. You'll have to run that yourself. Paul in. All righty. For $250, does Mark Spitz believe swimming in the nude helps you go faster? Well, it's easier to stare. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> I think, uh, I think any additional garment or anything would be, uh, you know, cause resistance. Of I said yes. I think it would be faster. I agree. No. In fact, he says swimming suits actually improve freedom of movement. I think they shave their arms and things, but not, uh, no, they don't go nude. We put a circle there. You're back at it, Norma. All righty. Harvey Corman. Uh, Mr. Corman, in the country of Bangladesh, Bangladesh, they've had a lot of tragedy over there in the last few years. The government only allows couples to get married on a certain day that comes only once every two years. We want to know why that is. Well, they only have one caterer. <laughs> <laughs> that is a, their highest, uh, most uh, highest religious holiday. I agree. No. Uh, they do that because of population control. They hope it will discourage people from getting married and having children. So they only let couples get married on a certain day that comes once every two years. Cannot put an X there. Randy Lefter, and that's yourself. Harvey Corman. All righty, for $250. In what classic movie did Greta Garbo utter her immortal line, I want to be alone? No multiple choice, eh? No. <laughs> Uh, I don't think it was in a movie. I think she just said that, or, and I'm even not sure of the quote, but I don't think it was in a movie. Will you right. accept that? Of course. I disagree. I know Grand Hotel, Harvey. Sorry? Yeah, okay, we just have $250, Randy. Oh. He said it wasn't in a movie, and uh, Randy disagreed it wasn't a movie, oh. Grand Hotel. Oh. Yeah, okay. All right, Navy person, you gotta. Okay. I, are you gonna put me in the brig? Oh no! Oh, no, right. no. We have another Secret Square game okay. coming up here, Norm. It's gonna be all right, Kenny. Okay. <laughs> and Circle starts the Secret Square. Four versus Lancer Group features traditional styling sofa, love seat, chair, and recliner with a soft, durable vinyl with brass nail accents. Looks and comfort for the whole family to enjoy. Furnished by Burris. Plus, shake up your mouth with delicious, refreshing dentine dynamins. The smaller they get, the small, the small, stronger they get. Delicious dentine dynamins. Also, Panasonic's beautiful color picture in a luxurious Mediterranean-style 25-inch quattro-color console featuring solid-state chassis. Furnished by Panasonic and Jiffy Pop Popcorn, the fun treat your whole family love. Pops right in its own pan. Always fresh, hot, delicious. Plus, Leonard Silver's complete silver set. Oval Dome warmer, champagne bucket, gold line bun warmer, three-piece coffee set, and a pair of candelabras. Furnished by Leonard Silver Manufacturing Company. Let's show the whole money. It's the Secret Square. Norma, pick a star, dear. Jonathan Winters. All righty. True or false, Jonathan? In the Spanish circus, the human cannibal, the human cannonball, you know, the guy's... Yeah, the guy goes out He refused him. to let his wife fire the cannon because she kept aiming him at the lion's cage. <laughs> oh, she could have aimed him, you know, at the audience. Could have aimed him out of the tent. <laughs> you let a lady fire a cannon, they're, they go berserk. Um, <laughs> especially, you know, married person. Um, I would have to say that's false. He said that's false. I agree. You want to hear something? This fella, the human cannonball yes. that his wife aimed at the lion's right. cage, he's been in the hospital 17 times. <laughs> and his last quote was, I've had enough. It's true. Yes, put an X there. Okay, Randy, a break for you. Uh, Paul Lynn. Uh, according to the old song, I want to be happy, but I can't be happy until what? Till Johnny comes marching home again. The <laughs> way. <laughs> I want to be happy, but I can't be happy until what? You're, you're happy, too. I'll agree. Yeah, I make you happy, too. Very good. It's your turn, Norma. David, oh, uh, Harvey Corman. Harvey, had you said David, and then we would have, uh, Harvey, for the block. Yeah. When Henry Ford built his first automobile, he could not back it into his garage. Why? Could not. Oh, uh, he could not. He. Happy to hear. 
Uh, it wasn't uh, Henry Ford that built the first car. It was uh, Amos Ford. Uh, Harvey, this is Henry Ford. <laughs> But he first built his automobile. It he didn't could not have a reverse gear, Sill. It did not have a reverse gear. I agree. Sil. That's it, Sill. Okay, we have a commercial. Put a circle right there. Uh, Glenn Campbell. All righty. Glenn, according to the book, Cure Yourself with Wine. Yeah. Will drinking champagne during meals help prevent heart attacks? Well, I've... I cure you. I've, I've done that. I cured my pimples with wine. Did you know? Yeah, when I was a kid. Yes. Uh, you certainly have a way with a word, Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but well, according to the book, now this is according to the book, cure yourself with wine. Well, drinking champagne during meals help prevent heart attacks. Uh, they say that wine is good for you, and, and champagne comes from the grape, but, so I would take a guess and say yes, that it, it would help. I'll agree. Yeah, according to that book, uh, two glasses before and during meals is deterrent. You become an alcoholic, but your heart's great, right? <laughs> right. Okay, with the next. You end up with Dean Martin's liver. Ed McMahon. I'm sorry, dear. Ed McMahon? All righty. Ed, what classic musical begins along the Wang Ho Valley? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh I got the worst. I saw that one night on the service, I think. Um, <laughs> along the Wang Ho Valley. That's H-W-A-N-G dash Ho. Good Lord. Classical music, musical begins Classic with, musical? Yeah, along the Wang Ho Valley. Sounds like a No, no. Uh, Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Norma? I disagree. Good. <laughs> Good for you, Captain. No, the flower drum song. Flower drum song. Okay, right. Randy, your turn. Uh, David McCallum. David, here we go. For $500, one girl is using the pray is, praying mantis style on you. One girl is. Another girl is using the dragon. Another, the snake. And yet another is using the white crane. Are you happy about what they're doing? Oh, sure. He says, sure. <laughs> Why not? I agree. You'll agree? No. Oh. Those are different styles of kung fu. You're getting beat up is what's happening. Okay, put a circle there. And Norm, it's your turn. David Grove. Our friend from the Rota Show for $250 in a tie game. When you fall in love, does it do anything special to the area just above your kidneys? <laughs> oh, yeah. He said, yeah. I agree. That's where your adrenal glands are located, and they go berserk. Mm. Yes, absolutely. We have a tie again. Well, Karen Valentine with the Secret Square. We'll have another game and another Secret Square, Ken. And this time, X starts the Secret Square. We'll jet you from Los Angeles to the American Virgin Islands, elegant Bluebeard Castle Hotel, nestled in botanical gardens high on a hill overlooking St. Thomas Harbor. Dining, dancing, tennis, water sports, free port shopping, and world famous beaches. Plus, Varela Sportswear, the gentleman's leisure suit, hand tailored from the finest fabrics, hand styled for a custom fit, 32 colors to choose from, furnished by Varela Slacks and Sportswear. Also, Princess Gardner, matching leather accessories, smartly styled, a perfect gift, and a fine name and personal leather, good Princess Gardner, and a $1,000 Spiegel catalog gift certificate with more than 500 pages, due twice a year with over 50,000 quality items, providing value selected and economy, furnished by Spiegel catalog. Okay, let's show the home audience the Secret Square, and Randy, take a star. Harvey Corman. True or false, Harvey? In some Arab countries, camels, camels have started to wear fluorescent jackets. <laughs> fluorescent jackets. Camels. I've worn one for years. Glenn said he's worn one for years. <laughs> it bores me, Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. I'll say false. He said false. I agree. No, it's true. You know why? Why? So they can be seen more easily by motorists. Ah, sure. Yeah, okay. Let's put an X. I'd rather a circle there. A normal break for you, dear. Paul Ann. Paul? President George Washington once said, quote, I would rather be in my grave than in what? Grant's tomb. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather be in my grave than in, in the what? Um, I don't know. I'll just try to make some kind of sense. I'll say uh, most presidents truly hate war. I'll say I'd rather be in my grave than be in, in war. In war. I disagree. No, I'd rather be in my grave than be president. Isn't that interesting? Oh, that too. Yeah, okay, with a circle. Randy, your turn. Jonathan Winters, the block. All righty. Does the average chicken tend to eat more when it's dining alone or with friends? <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long time since my wife and I have had a chicken at dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel usually has them in a strange way, but... 
Just to have them come through the door. I... Uh, ask that again, please. Uh, <laughs> does the average chicken tend to eat more when it's dining alone or with friends? Dining alone or with friends? The average chicken. I would have to say when it's dining alone. Alone. Mm -hmm. I've got to agree. No. Chickens eat three times as much when they eat in groups. Yeah. Okay, can't put a circle there. Norby, you'll have to earn that after this commercial word. We'll be right back. Plight. Not a bad plight, by the way. Jonathan Winters is not the secret square. It's worth $250, but the secret square is up there worth $3,166. We have a tie game. What are you going to do? Take jo Jonathan Winters. For $500, Jonathan, according to scientists, can worms, worms, be trained to do anything, anything at all? Worms. You put a nice, you know, sequin collar on them. <laughs> You can uh, head him right across the uh, sidewalk, too. Um, I would think so, yes. He said yes. I agree. Not much, but a few simple things, like singing Babalu as an example. Yes, we have $500. Norma Batchelder. Uh, Glenn, oh, Glenn. Hey, Glenn. You were the secret square. Oh, was I the secret square? That's right. Nobody chose Glenn. Now we're going to race for the car and start with Norma. Pick a star. I'll uh, see. Um, Ed McMahon. All righty. Ed, true or false, studies have shown that in almost all cases, male, male racehorses run faster if there's at least one female racehorse in the race. Hmm. And false. So that's false. I disagree. Yeah, horses are dumb. It's false. Yeah. Okay, well, the next. Randy, a break for you. Harvey Corman. Uh, Harvey, a naughty Marietta was the first one of eight films that they did together. Who are they? Rowan and Martin. <laughs> no, that was uh, Nelson Eddy and Jeanette MacDonald. I agree. Well, a little... Yes, Rhea, we have two X's. Norma, your turn. David Grove. David, an extensive survey by the John B. Pierce Foundation has discovered that one wife in every 25 refuses to put on a certain article of clothing in front of her husband. What article is it? You notice it was a male survey. Uh, mm -hmm. right. did it. Yeah, yeah. I would say girdle. Girdle. I agree. Nope. I would buy that, by the way. No, it's pantyhose. Surprisingly, fewer wives had such qualms about bras and other undies. I uh, can't put an extra. Randy, you'll have to earn that yourself. David Grohl. This would be for a tie game, by the way. John C. Calhoun did it in the 19th century. And Spiro Agnew did it in the 20th century. And nobody else in the whole history of the country has ever done it before. What? Embarrass the country? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, John C. Calhoun. John C. Calhoun did it in the 19th century. Spiro Agnew in the 20th. Did what? I don't believe David has a bluff for this. Would you like this question, no, Randy? No. All righty. Uh, it's resigned the vice presidency of the United States. Back to a David Groh question. Listen carefully, my friend. And I have been signaled, we have five. I want to hear this because it's yeah, five, four, three, two. We're going to have the buzzer. And I know exactly what you're going to do. But all right, I'll read the question. In what popular sport does it... That's what I mean. I saw the signal. I didn't want to start the question. Incidentally, if you are correct on this, Randy, you'll have an X and $500. We'll have a tie game and we'll go to a tie-breaking question. David, very important. It's for the car. In what popular sport does the average player spend a third of his time walking another third of his time waiting, and about a fifth of his time studying the cups. I would say golf. Golf. I would agree. And only 8.5% of his time is spent swinging golf. We have a tie game. And that's exciting. That was a good question. Yeah. I have an envelope here. And it's called the tiebreaker. There it states the tiebreaker. And we will start the questioning with X because it's a brand new game, by the way, Norma. Ed McMahon. All right. Ed, it's up to you for the car. Eleanor Roosevelt was related to Teddy Roosevelt. Was she his daughter, his niece, or his granddaughter? Whew. I'll repeat the question. Eleanor Roosevelt was related to Teddy Roosevelt. Was she his daughter, his niece, or his granddaughter? 
His niece. His niece. I'll agree. That's it. X gets the square. Congratulations to you. Norma, we have $500 in cash. You've been involved in the most exciting game. Thank you, dear, for playing with us. Stay right there. Randy, you've won $550, and that means you have won the following. That was an exciting match. Congratulations yes, to you, Randy. It's Pontiac Saunders at Compact Astra. Distinctive styling, responsive four-cylinder engine, electronic ignition, floor shift, a three-speed transmission, overhead cam engine for overhaul operating economy. Astra furnished by Pontiac. See you here next time for more fun on the Hollywood Squares. Have a good evening. Hi, I'm Mark Wahlberg, and I'm here on the set of Russian Roulette, the new game show with a pretty serious downer for the losing contestants. We drop them through trap doors. That's why Game Show Network sent down a lawyer from Standards and Practices just to make sure we don't, you know, kill anybody or any... I mean, of course, not that we would ever really do that. I mean, it never, never. I mean, it's completely safe. <laughs> completely. Russian Roulette, every night at 11 on Game Show Network. This won't affect your report, will it? Ooh. Production.